again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Amiga OS for Galaxy S3. Now um, this is kind of a relatively new ROM for me. I haven't tried this out earlier and uh, well this is a Chinese ROM and the uh, links are not available on XG developers until recently. Well um, yeah uh, the thing with Chinese ROMs is that you have to go and uh, explore find it yourself because they are not going to find you so yeah pretty cool so that is uh the starting of it let's get in the rom now first of all what you will see here is the lock screen so here's the lock screen now uh, lock screen does have the time date and uh, something else which i really don't know how to read because it's in chinese so you don't i don't i didn't have any option to change those characters but yeah, it's there. Uh, here's a lock screen, which is a pretty neat one. It kind of follows the philosophy of iPhone and having all the apps in the um, in the home screen itself without giving you an actual app launcher or app drawer. So that is different. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go to the settings menu. In the settings, we'll see uh, about phone page. You can see it is Chinese ROM, it is heavily modified version of, well it says it is Android 4.4.4 which I'm not actually really sure about. So yeah, uh, it feels more like 4.3 to me, uh, even N22 says it's 4.4.4 so I kind of believe that, I'm not really sure if, just, if it's just a build on prop uh, tweak, uh, but yeah, it is there so pretty neat uh, what else do we have from the locks uh, the about front page you can see it is build number this kernel version is this one it doesn't give you a lot of information from the stats uh, it's just there to kind of please everything it does have an update cycle it, as being a Chinese ROM it does get updated weekly right now the version is kind of at 2.4.3 uh, 2.4.2 so yeah you can have that in the system apps uh, system updates it will search for system update you can see now the version is at 2.4.2 uh, and you can check for new updates by clicking here it is again um, kind of uh, well it is Chinese and it kind of gets a bit of uh, finagling to get around that so yeah that is it I shouldn't give up upgrade yeah I don't have any updates right now so yeah what else do we have now? Uh, this is con uh, considering the other Chinese ROMs a bit less on uh, features. This has all these stock features. Now, yeah, I forgot to mention that this is based on this stock uh, Samsung uh, ROM. So this is TouchOS based. So it will have better stability and better um, battery life compared to other Chinese ROM which are mostly based on Cyanogen mod. So yeah, this does have a lot of options which are uh, kind of Samsung exclusive like uh, the direct transfer and stuff like that, DLNA and stuff like that to a smart TV so you can have that all if you do use them. So yeah. Uh, in well, as I was saying, in um, in case of extra functionality, this doesn't offer much. It is still a modified ROM, but this does not have the extra functionality which is found in like something like the UnoS or Baidu OS or MIUI with the themes and all. This doesn't really have any theme support from as far as I can see. So yeah, that is there. You do have push messages. You can turn on those and off those. This is a mon notification manager, so you can have that. You can add an account. Uh, from what I can see, it is uh, supposed to be used with uh, Google apps. It doesn't come with G apps, but you can flash that in a separate package. Battery life, as I've said, is going to be a bit better than the CM ROMs because Samsung kernels and Samsung uh, voodoo magic which goes on behind the scenes. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, you do have that. In the app section, you can see uh, I've already installed uh, one app. The, all the other apps are system apps rather than uh, user deletable apps. All these Chinese stuff, these are system apps. You have to use the root explorer to delete them. So that's kind of a pain. Um, you can see the RAM usage is uh, this much about 221 megs of free so yeah, that's pretty neat I mean that's not bad or anything so yeah that's what else do we have now in the other options you can schedule airplane on or off if you want that uh, it's kind of like a silence at night you can have that automatically turned on if you wish to have that so that's really neat uh, languages and input it does have a Chinese uh, Chinese keyboard it does have the USB keyboard also so
Now it also features a very good uh, notification drawer which I really appreciate because it has almost all the information which I need. Uh, your notification will appear here and in the settings menu you have a quick clear toggle which is pretty awesome if you think about it. You don't really need to go into the recent menu to clear anything. So that is really really cool. So as you can see it does show the amount of RAM available so it says now it is 377 megs available out of 826 megs 54% uh, used and you can click this to clear that uh, something which I noticed is that it gets stuck here it doesn't uh, go straight back to how much RAM it's using uh, like it should but uh, yeah it really right now it's just same because it wasn't clear it didn't have it much to clear about so yeah also the recent menu is pretty neat I mean it doesn't really give you um, a lot of options but it does give you the uh, weather phone contacts and messages and the recent app will come here uh, as uh, I'll show you guys that so it will come here as a page so it does give you previous of it so you can it has a carousel menu but it doesn't have the clear all function here you have to go to the clear all in the notification so yeah pretty neat it does work out you can swipe it away for that now in terms of the system apps you can see all of them are basically themed uh, in the music app which I really like the music app in this one you can see Amigo here uh, it is it does have the uh, Baidu search engine which you can use to search for songs if your country is not banned by Baidu I'm not really sure uh, I couldn't really get the search going on so the other apps include the clock app which is themed of course uh, a lot of stuff are themed in this one you can see this uh, being a Chinese ROM a lot of stuff are uh, basically Chinese centric even the weather widget uh, you don't really have any other uh, places you can select from the list uh, other than China so yeah that's that's my only gripe about Chinese wrong because they don't really consider any anyone else out of the Chinese mainland uh, all the other stuff is themed you can see gallery app is themed you can have that it's pretty neatly uh, the camera is the stock Samsung camera which I really appreciate because I really like the stock camera app on Samsung Galaxy S3 because it actually does capture nicely it does have a quick shutter and stuff like that which I really appreciate and I really like uh, doesn't have the slow motion stuff which is available with a mod but you can probably flash that I haven't tried it myself but it will be usable so yeah pretty neatly uh, what else do we have now uh, it does have all these apps it does have a really wicked compass option you can see it is really smooth I really like how this functions pretty neat um, FM radio torch option you do have all of these working so yeah it was it turned on my torch so you can see it is turning on it does work you can have a SOS signal also so it is searching for SOS you can have all of these working so yeah this is the cleaner stuff which is kind of considered bloatware by me at least so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty neat uh, I'll show you guys that it also has a custom this thing which uh, a lot of people like I personally like that so yeah so here is the Amigo OS boot animation with the uh, Samsung boot sound I guess so yeah you'll see a diglet getting off on that uh, yeah so that is it the full boot animation which you've seen in the um, first load up is a bit more uh, it boots up really fast so yeah let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which isn't much I mean yeah all the, most of the Chinese ROMs uh, which I've at least tested is basically within the same range is 22 to 23 to 72 which isn't much I mean okay benchmark is not the best thing but still using it also it's not the fastest ROM ever it's usable it's stable based on the Samsung touchless ROM so yeah I think that is the main thing about this ROM which uh, kind of like which I, I like it so yeah I guess how much is it about the ROM um, again all the Chinese stuff is still there but you can normally you can probably use the widgets to cover that up um, so yeah this is a basic ROM with no frill stuff it's still Chinese ROM but and if you are from China by all means use this because this is really cool so yeah I guess I'm interested about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye